Hey everyone, this is Chad Chilius with Creative Pro. I'm here to show you a little bit of a video that is a sneak peek into what I'm going to be presenting this year at the Creative Pro conference. So one of the things that I like to show people is, you know, how to utilize InDesign to create a fillable form. But people often take a variety of different approaches when they do this. Uh, some people like to put the form fields on a separate layer. And that is an okay choice, but it's a bit limiting whenever you have to make changes to your form. So what I want to do is show you how we can utilize form fields, leverage anchored objects, and then object styles to make the process of creating form fields in your document a lot easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in up here to make this a little bit bigger. And we're gonna start by simply creating a form field. Now, a form field can be any type of frame in InDesign. Uh, I like to use the regular rectangle frame tool just because I like to, I like the way it looks. And I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag to start and draw a form field where I want this to go. Okay. Now, I don't know that this is perfect yet, and that's fine. Uh, you may want to do some testing with the size of your form fields by exporting to a PDF and just kind of checking to see what things look like. But I do know that typically I need my form field to go a little bit below the line if they appear in your form uh, to make the text appear like it's sitting on that line. Now the next thing I'm going to do is open my buttons and forms panel. Now I have it docked up here in the upper right corner. And with this frame selected, I'm going to click on the drop down here and I'm going to choose text field. And when I do that, my, my text frame is now going to have a dotted or a dashed line around it, indicating that this is in fact a form field. Now you could give your form field whatever name you wish. I like to be very consistent when I do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and type first name in here and feel free to adjust your font and your size and so on and so forth. But the important thing for me is that when I'm making changes to my form, I don't want the text to be detached from the rest of my form. So, you know, for example, if I had come up here and decided that I had to add some text up here, you could see that, you know, the text is going to move, but the form field is not, which is no good. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this again. And by selecting the form field or the frame, I'm going to click on the icon right here and I'm going to drag to where I want to anchor this form field. And you can see now I have a little anchor icon. Sometimes it's helpful if you go to the view menu and choose extras show text threads. So you can kind of see the connector and how the form field is connected to the text. Now the problem with anchoring content in InDesign is that InDesign has a default behavior. And that behavior is often not very helpful because of how it anchors it by default. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to option click on this little anchor icon to bring up my anchored object options. And you can see that up here where it says anchored object, this is telling me what part of the frame or, or the, you know, the thing that I'm anchoring is being utilized as a reference. And you can see it's using the lower right corner as a reference. Now, the way my brain works and the way most people think about this, I'm not really creating my frame relative to the lower right corner. Doesn't really make sense. So I'm going to click on the upper left and I'm going to turn my preview on and you're going to notice that things go a bit wonky, but that's okay for now. Okay. Now also we have the anchored position down here which is basically saying, okay, you know, how is that object being anchored into the overall frame, right? And so by default, it's, it's using the left edge, which is, which is okay. But you'll notice that without any further adjustment, it's anchoring the object relative to the text frame. And that's not really what I want because I want it anchored relative to where I'm anchoring it in the text. So one of the things I always change in the X relative to, 
if you click on the drop down menu, I'm going to choose anchor marker because the anchor marker is wherever I dropped that anchor when I anchored the object. And then the Y direction is set to the baseline by default, which is absolutely fine. Now, again, you can see that the frame is way over here. It's, it's not at all where I want it to be. So I'm going to start by just setting the X and Y to zero. I'm just going to set them both to zero. And that gives me a new reference point. Okay. And for the X direction, zero is actually where I want it to be, but the Y direction is wrong. So I'm just going to highlight this and I'm going to use my up and down arrow keys to adjust the position to where I want it to be. And now I've anchored this with purpose. Instead of just kind of anchoring it and letting it go, now when I anchor my objects, it's going to be specific to where I want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And what you're going to find now is that, you know, with this anchored, I could come over here to my object styles and I could create a new object style. And I'm going to call this a uh, form field. There we go. And I'm going to apply the style to the selection. Now, one of the things I tell people is that when you create an object style, it always wants to record way more than you need it to. And in my case, I don't want it to record any of these options except for my anchored object options. So I'm literally going to uncheck everything else because I don't want it to impart any of those properties to my anchored object. And now when I click OK, you can see that I have an object style that is going to anchor my form field exactly where I want it to be. Now to show you how this is going to work, I'm going to draw another one. As a matter of fact, what I'll do is I'll just copy this and paste it over here. That way it's the same size. And I can resize this however I want. And if I anchor this to where I want it to go, and then apply the form field object style. I'm just going to clear the override here. It's going to put it in the exact position that the object style is defining. So, you know, when you're creating forms in InDesign, just remember that by anchoring them to the text, it's going to help you later on as you have to make adjustments. You'll notice here, if I now make changes to the text, the form fields are moving along with the text, which is a really great feature. And it really is going to save me a lot of time moving forward because I don't have to then go back in and reposition those form fields. They're already anchored to the text and are going to move along the way I want it to. I hope you enjoyed this and please come see me at the Creative Pro Conference later this year. Well, I hope you like this video. And if you want lots more tips like this, be sure to check out creativepro.com and subscribe to InDesign Magazine. Thanks for learning with us.